Hi, welcome back. In front of you video today, I wasn't going to make one, uh, I'm in the middle of decorating actually, but I thought I would make one, because I'm so annoyed at Fanatec. So, this is my Fanatec 2.5 formula, it's the X version, so it's the one with the, made for the Xbox, and it also has this Alcantara trim on the side. So, the Alcantara is by no, as you can see is no way damaged but I want to change it so I wanted to change it to drive to put the leather one on so if you buy the 2.5 non-x it comes with leather grips real leather grips so I wanted to buy them so I contacted Fanatec and I said to them oh, I wanted to buy some of these um, I explained the situation that what I was doing and they said because I'd bought the 2.5X, they'd sell me these ones but wouldn't sell me the leather ones because I'd not bought <laughs> the 2.5 wheel, which I found really bizarre. So, yeah, I know I can go buy some pineapple grips, but they're not the best. I don't know what you think of them, but I don't want some. And a 69 quid, and it's not real leather, where the Fanatec ones are real leather, and I don't. They're just going to match perfectly. Everything's going to be as it should be. So. I messaged them back again, I said, look, this is ridiculous, just sell me these. And they said, no, because they won't sell me them, because I haven't bought that wheel. Now, that is ridiculous. I don't know what you think, but I find that absolutely ridiculous. People warned me when I bought Fanatec that I'd have, you can, they're not the best customer service and yada, yada, yada. And they've been responsive, don't get me wrong, they came back to me straight away when, with a query, but surely in this day and age, Bearing in mind, let me point out, I don't know if I have to point out, I do not want them for free. I specifically told them I wanted to buy them off them. If they're £50, they're £50. £60, they're £60. I just wanted to buy them. I didn't want them for free. I didn't want to try and do any warranty return on these or anything. I just wanted to buy some grips. Which is stock, obviously, because they make the wheels. And they have the grips because they can sell me the Alcantara ones, but won't sell me the leather ones because I don't, I don't buy the leather wheel. A few years ago that would have been fine, but now look at the competition, you've got that, you've got Camus out there which look really good, you've got um, the Moser wheels which looks like they're take, starting to take over in a big way, and very very competitive, very favourable with the Fanatec ones, you get more bang for your buck by the looks, and now I'm into the Fanatec ecosystem, but I have to, have to swap out because I've got Husking Belt pedals now, and really, do I want to stay with Fanatec? I really don't know if I do anymore. I think it might be time for me to move on to something different. So I just wanted to make the video. Some people are going to think, well, it's not that big a deal. It, and it, it isn't. I'm not saying it is a big deal. What I'm saying is a big deal is that isn't the best customer service in the world. Also, when I uh, moved all my rig, I moved it from room to room, I think it was, or I did something anyway, and I misplaced the torque key. I hadn't actually misplaced it. I'd put it somewhere and remembered where it was in the end. But I'd lost the torque key for the back of the DD one. So... I don't know if you've seen scalpers trying to get 100 quid for these things on eBay, but I contacted them and I said, look, this has happened. Bear in mind that torque key has only got a couple of resistors in there, because that's all it's doing. It's a, it's a switch. It's basically a switch you plug it in the back. So I contacted them and they wanted £50 for the torque key, which I found a little bit bizarre. I found it anyway, but in the meantime, they'd come back to me. I found that a little bit bizarre. And I've also had one or two problems with the DD1 that they want... I'm still waiting on a response for one of them. It fixed. I fixed it myself, but they never responded. So, yeah, maybe I should listen to everybody on the forum. They eh? uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Am I out of, out of order with this, or have you had horror stories with Fanatec? But for me, not the best. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.